Michael running late? Uh, no, I'm not waiting for Michael. You seem nervous. I am? I mean, I, 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 I am nervous. Is this about the baby? The one you said you might have a chance to adopt? Yeah, well, Michael doesn't really um, see it the same way as I do. So. Really? I thought Michael would be... Uh, I'm sorry. Gigi, I have to talk to stars. Sure. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'll come with me this way. So, um, have you made your decision about my baby? Um... If... If it's still what you want, I would very much still like to adopt your baby. Yeah, I just wanted to call and see if Marty had a good night. Uh, Jenner, I'm going to have to call you back. I don't understand why you wanted me to meet you here. Well, we have some business to take care of. Here? Yeah, you're going to file an injunction against Star. Turn me into a murderer. Wait a second. What's an injunction? <clears throat> you said you wanted to stop Star from giving the baby away, right? Yeah, you know, if Star won't listen to me, then I know I know I might have to get a lawyer, but this just seems to be necessary. No, cruel. Yeah, well, it's a custody battle. They're cruel. That's why they call it a battle. People will say and do whatever it takes to keep their kids. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Okay, then. So the only way to do this is to file an injunction and stop Star from giving this kid to Marcy McBain. You have no idea how much this means to me. <laughs> I'm just so glad that you changed your mind. Yeah, well, I, I, I really didn't think that I would. You know, when you first came to me, I just couldn't see how it would ever work out. But then the more I thought about it, the more I knew that it's the right thing. I know that you are going to give this baby a wonderful home. I really do. Um, you do know that none of this is going to be easy, right? Well, my my dad found out that I'm pregnant. Cole actually told him. Yeah, I, I know about that. Really? I, I mean, but there's nothing that my dad can do. It, it's still going to be hard because I need to convince Cole that, you know, this is the right thing. But I'm sure he's going to come around. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, he's a great guy, you know. And I know that deep down inside, he knows that we aren't ready to be parents. And I just have to make him see that you and Dr. McBain are the right parents for our baby, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Actually, Michael still isn't convinced that this is the right thing to do. But you said that you wanted to go through with the adoption. I do. Oh, I do, Star, more than anything. But if you give me your baby, most likely I'm going to have to raise him or her on my own. Is that a deal breaker for you? You have a problem with this. I, I, I knew you were going to have a problem with this. Well, I don't know. It's just not what I was expecting. Me either. And I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I know that when you asked me to adopt your baby, you just assumed that Michael would be a part of that package. Your, your dad, he came over to our place yesterday. He started making all kinds of threats. It was pretty bad. I can't believe that's so cold. Huh? And now Michael can't bring himself to go through with this and I can't bring myself to walk away from it but look I if you don't want to give your baby to a single mother I I understand completely I really I just don't know what to say well you know um a lot of single parents they do really well with their children um my friend Gigi that's her over there uh she raised her son Shane and he's turned out to be a really great kid, and she raised him totally on her own. Look, I promise. I promise that I would be everything that your child would, would ever need. I will love and protect that child with all of my heart, and I will never, ever put myself before my child, ever. I promise you that. I, I believe that. I, I just wish this wasn't screwing up your marriage. I still want to adopt your baby. But you're willing to just walk away from Dr. McBean in order to do that? Look, he's made his decision. And I have made mine. Now you just have to make yours, okay? 
I mean, maybe you just, maybe you need time. You need time with this. I, I understand that. I know that you would love this baby. Okay, that, that's not my problem. It's just that without you being married to Dr. McBain, I don't see how you can raise a child. I don't want to go to war with Star. Oh. So you just want to let her decide for herself to give the baby one? No, but I, I, this is, I don't want to cause... Well, let me ask you something. Uh, when you decided to keep this baby, did you consult a lawyer? Yeah, I asked around. And what did you expect this lawyer to do? Did you think uh, they were just going to call up Star and say, don't give Cole's baby away? No, of course not. They were going to go for the throat. Just like you did when you came and told me she was pregnant. I didn't do that to hurt Star. <laughs> You're right. She hurt you. You wanted to hurt her back. And you want to keep your kid. You must have been pretty desperate to come to me for help, huh? I didn't know who else to go to. No, it's Bull, too. There was only one person in the world who would do everything in their power to keep Marcy McBain from getting her hands on this kid, and that's me. On the house? Oh, no, you really don't have to do that. Oh, please, any friend of Marcy's? Uh, Gigi, this is Star. Star, this is my friend Gigi I was telling you about. Hi. Hi. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, if you need anything else, let me know. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really understand what you mean. I mean, even if Michael and I aren't together, Star, I can still be a good mom to your child. I can still take care of your baby. But do you even have a job? Oh, well, um, I filed a petition with the school board to be reinstated this fall, and my application is being considered. I applied for a regular paying job at the hospital, and they seem very interested. But none of that is definite. No, but I am very confident that something is going to come through. And I've also uh, contacted my dad and my brothers, and they have all promised to help out financially until I get back on my feet. Okay, but so you are working, then how are you going to take care of a baby? Well, Star, I probably won't be a stay-at-home mom. But, um, you know, I I'll have Gigi. She'll help me out. And then I'll have my family as well. And I will find the best child care possible. I promise you that. And I, I can also promise you that that baby will never lack for love. You can count on that. It seems like you've really thought a lot about this. Star... You know what a great mom I was to Sam. You said yourself that's why you asked me to take your baby in the first place. I, I, I guess now, understandably, your question is if I can still be a good mom on my own.